beautiful island of Cape Breton, where the people are kind and the views are unforgettable. Tourism is one of our largest industries that attracts around 1.3 million visitors every year. We have 26 major hiking trails, the Highland National Park, and 298 miles of the world-famous Cabot Trail, which takes you through some of the oldest towns in our history while showing you magnanimous views of the world's largest inland sea, the Bredore Lake. Some mornings, we even wake up and have a tea with a deer to tread across our backyard. There is no place quite like Cape Breton Island. But despite its beauty, Cape Breton, much like Canada and the rest of the world, we are heavily struck by the global pandemic. This has become our new normal. Endless Zoom sessions, pajama pants 24-7, hand sanitizer, six feet apart, mask or even double mask, confusing lines and arrows at the grocery stores. However, this new normal does not work for everybody. Most of the time, I feel paranoid and anxious doing a task as simple as getting groceries. I constantly feel like people are giving me crazy looks when I accidentally walk down the wrong lines because those arrows can be confusing. Am I six feet apart from everyone? I clean my hands with sanitizer religiously until my hands are all dried up. And I bet I'm not the only one feeling this way. Grocery shopping anxiety is real. During the pandemic, a lot of people have sought out to use grocery delivery services due to the COVID fear. However, for rural and small communities like Cape Breton Island, this might not be the best option. This is Navy, a member of our team. When the home province locked down last year, she tried a popular grocery delivery service. She thought this would be a convenient option for her to stay safe during the pandemic. She chose the earliest option to have her groceries delivered in the next two hours. And her groceries were getting delayed and delayed until seven hours. She received her groceries seven hours late since there weren't any drivers available in her area until later. Cape Breton's demographic is primarily people over the age of 55. The municipality's population is aging. The latest data indicates that 49% of residents are between 20 and 59 years of age. Here we face an inadequate number of reliable grocery delivery services. Most of the big grocery chains in the area only have pickup services which are not accessible for people without cars. Our public transportation has been a big issue over the years, especially with the increasing number of international students. Most bus roads in the municipality operate with a one-hour waiting interval, so planning ahead is necessary. Despite being one of the most popular means of transportation, CBRM's bus system is still scarce and unreliable, especially during bad weather conditions. Noticing a need in our community, in Atlas Cape Breton University started building a contactless grocery delivery project in early 2021. Unpack is catered towards our community, especially those with compromised immune systems and people with their reliable transportation. This project also creates more job opportunities for our CBU students and alumni. The service is fairly simple to use. Instead of leaving the house and facing the risks of COVID, our customers would place and pay for their orders through Walmart and PC Express online grocery pickup service on their phone or laptop. After that, they would contact us through our social media or phone number with their order details, ideally at least 24 hours ahead, and we would get back to them with a confirmation in the assigned driver's information. When it's time to pick up the groceries, our driver would head to the assigned store to pick up the groceries and deliver them to the customer's provided address. The groceries are dropped off based on the customer preference, such as the front door or side door. Once our customers have received a message that the groceries are at the door, it's unpack time. We always make sure our drivers follow the CDC's COVID-19 guidelines to keep themselves, the customers, and our community safe. 
We start the pilot phase for this project in February 2021, in which we were able to provide job opportunities to five drivers. We have also safely delivered seven grocery orders to three main areas of Cape Breton. Our main customers have been mainly international students who don't have access to cars and individuals with compromised immune systems. Here's Naveen, one of our very first drivers, on his first delivery trip to Reserve Mice. Hi, my name is Quinn and I'm a third year BBA student from Cape Breton University. I'm an international student, so my main transportation has always been the bus, but ever since COVID hit, um, I was really getting anxious about using any kind of public transport and getting the grocery is one of my biggest concerns because I live quite far away from any of the grocery stores. I was really getting all the help I need from my friends. Throughout the process, everything had just been a breeze. Um, they got me through it very quick. The communication with NXS has been amazing and the process was really quick and convenient. I just want to encourage anyone in CBRM who doesn't have a car and who's just anxious about getting out there. NXS is definitely there to help you, like how they help me and especially during this pandemic. What NXS uh, is doing is really amazing. We offered our grocery delivery service to our community for free during the pilot to attract new customers and build a customer base. As a student-run nonprofit project, we are able to pay our drivers as much as 25% high commission compared to other local competitors and offer our community a lower delivery fee once the project is off the ground. We are hoping to have Unpack officially launched during the summer and attract more customers. We are running this project with a priority in mind to provide our drivers a better working condition by giving them a more livable commission rate. We hope to establish a strong connection with our drivers and expect a continual commitment from them towards our project and helping the community. This project was started as a nonprofit and we wish to continue serving our community without taking a big cut for ourselves. Our overhead and expenses are mainly covered by funding from our students' union and potential donation from local businesses and community members. We believe that our project would be sustainable in the long run as we always prioritize the community needs. Here's the projections for Unpack for the upcoming year. During our summer phase, we will be working on community outreach to promote our student-run service to the aging community. Some of the approaches include a pamphlet, pin up on community bulletin boards at grocery stores, at a local radio station as well as local newspapers. We also hope to have a press release done with the local CBC station. As our campus is expected to open this September, we are looking forward to expanding our driver team from 5 to at least 15 drivers since we would be providing our delivery service to survey voluntary users. We are hoping to have an increase in our regular customers, including faculty members. Once we achieve a stable regular customer base and a solid driver team, our winter plan is to team up with click to order a local online delivery platform to make the booking process more convenient for our customers and we'll end up replacing our rewards coordinators. One of our potential expansion ideas for Unpack is to tap into prescription delivery to the aging population once our grocery delivery service is more established in the community. The pandemic for sure has challenged our community in many ways. One of the reasons we started this project is to provide our community a safer way to get their groceries as well as help slow down the spread of COVID-19. We believe that our project has somewhat achieved this during the pilot phase. We are excited to have Unpack launch soon and able to reach more people within our community who can benefit from the service. And we are in Actors, Cape Breton University. University.